The Gina and Maddie podcast. Now, I don't know about you, Gina, but I have a pretty pretty strict bedtime routine. So mm-hmm. one hour before bed, no screens. I'll take a hot bath. I'll do some yoga. <laughs> I read a book. Maybe do some breath work. A little bit of journaling. Oh, this is what I want to do. Yeah, absolutely not. That is not <laughs> what I do. I sit on the couch watching maths, eating chocolate with the missus, and then I go to bed and I send her memes from the bedroom. Uh, <laughs> that's pretty much what I do. And then I just scroll mindlessly until I hate myself for not going to sleep earlier. Uh, last <laughs> night I needed rescuing from two things. I got stuck in a vortex. I got stuck in the vortex of the Glasgow Willy Wonka experience. <laughs> I are you, I didn't know, notice yeah. that until you told yeah. me about it this morning. Uh, it is everywhere what? and it is so weird. Do yourself a favour. If you're yeah, trying look to it up. avoid doing some work today, look it up. <laughs> and the other one is the latest conspiracy theory doing the rounds. Do you like a conspiracy theory? I do. Okay. I do, yes. So like NASA faking the moon landing? Yeah, no. No, they, no. They, we went to the moon yes. on that one? Okay. The, the other one, that Avril Lavigne died in 2003 and she's been impersonated by a person called Melissa Vandella ever oh. since. Oh, well, I don't know for sure. Avril- El- Elvis Presley lives in Wyong. Uh, yeah, 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 I believe that. <laughs> COVID isn't real. Wow. No, I'm just trying. Just fine. And more recently, Taylor Swift is working with the NFL and she's a psyop walking, uh, working for the Biden administration. What? Uh, yeah. You can unpack that one in your own time. But taking Reddit and X uh, and the whole internet pretty much by storm is where is the Princess of Wales? Kate Middleton. It is going bunta on the internet at the moment. Now, we know what we do know is that Kate was having abdominal surgery and the palace said that she'd be out of action until Easter, which is the end of March. Yeah. Or the 1st of April, I think, actually. Uh, So she's not meant to be seen, according to the the palace. The firm have told us we're not going to see her, but that hasn't stopped the internet. Now, let's, let's do a little bit of a deep dive, shall we? The last time that we saw Kate Middleton was on Christmas Day on a walk with her family. Oh, really? That long ago? That's the last time we saw her. So we're talking the 25th of December, 2003. Wow. That's right, Owen Wilson. Jan 17, (laughs) then the palace announced her surgery would be, uh, uh, that's going to happen, and she's going to step back from public duties. Yep, that's that's where we got with that announcement. Wow. That's right, Owen Wilson. (laughs) Jan 24, People magazine reports there has been no indication that there was anything wrong with the princess and that her hospitalisation was a shock to the broader circle of the family and friends and those who work closely with the royal family. So they were like, what? Hey, so no one here told us that she needed to go to hospital for anything. What's Maybe going she on just there? Wanted, didn't want anyone to know. Kensington Palace then on Jan 29 confirmed that Kate was back home following her hospitalisation, saying the Princess of Wales has returned home to Windsor to continue her recovery from surgery. Owen. I'll do it for wow. you. There it is. There it is. Great. <laughs> so that's Jan 29. Now, okay. uh, scattered timelines here. Early Feb, there's a Spanish journalist called Concha Caella. Now, she has stirred the pot saying that Kate's condition was a lot more severe than publicly acknowledged, saying she had sources tell her that, and she doubled down on it again later in a podcast, that Kate was in grave danger. She needed to be put into a medically induced coma due to post-surgery complications. They had to incubate her and they had to save her life. Oh. And she isn't recovering all that well back at Kensington Palace. Wow. Yeah. Now, Feb 27, so this is only a couple of days ago, Prince William, her hubby, Wills, has pulled out of a memorial service for his godfather, citing personal reasons, despite the fact that that memorial was being held at St George's Chapel, which is right next door. Right next to their place. So he could have just popped out. Just yeah. Gone, gone out the front gate, gone to the service and got popped back in. So they're saying... Well, Wow, that's a bit strange. So yesterday, royal photographer Phil Dampier has told the Daily Mail, reputable source, that William only lives a stone's throw away, so it's very concerning and very odd that someone of that level in the royal family would not attend a memorial for Mm. someone else in the royal family. And royal commentator Richard Fitzwilliam says, William's non-appearance at the memorial service for his godfather, the last king of Greece, Mm. owing to personal matter, is certainly unexpected and has left a lot of royal members' heads being scratched. Oh, well, scratched is better than cut off. (laughs) (laughs) Wow. Oh, (laughs) Dave. So, do with that information what you will. Either... She's okay. Oh. She's not. Yeah. She's. Or she could be Banksy. You never know. You never <laughs> know. Oh.
Gina and Maddie. Gina, what keeps happening to you that's doing your head in? What is it? Oh, look, I've got this one thing that it's unreasonable. There's a few things that are reasonable that happen. I think you can be annoyed by, you know, people don't say thank you to let you in the traffic. People that wear too much perfume, that can be a bit annoying. Mm-hmm. And that's that's reasonable. I think also when people say would have gone instead of would have gone, that's that's a bit that's a reasonable thing to be annoyed by. So does, does that annoy you, does it? <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, some of the grammatical stuff. But you can let that go because sometimes that's just where you come from. You know, it's, it's kind of like your accent. I can let that go. There's one thing that every day gets me and I, it's, it's, I'm not justified in being this annoyed. I write the word beautiful a lot. Mm. I like, hi, beautiful girl or beautiful something I type a lot. And even though I put in all the right letters, mm. Autocorrect can't guess that it's beautiful. It goes, <laughs> what? I'm like, B E A U T I U F L. It's like, it just can't get, can't fix it. And I use the word a lot. <laughs> and it annoys me. <laughs> I, how That's, does it not work? I even get an emoji as a suggestion oh, as for oh, beautiful. See, I get like up the top, I get the suggestions oh, of emojis. No, you, and, I don't know. My thing must be so used you, to it. How, I, is it like if you get one letter wrong, it just can't figure out what you're trying to write? Yeah. I don't know. Oh, come on. Yes. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. Like, it's like, come on, you oh, know. Okay. Oh, okay. You I know see what, what you I'm mean. trying to say. Okay, I gotcha. So if you put like a, a B-E-A-U-T-I-F-A-L by accident, yeah. it just gives you the red squiggle. It won't automatically correct it for you. Exactly. Or a bu- I've got bu for C. No. Yeah, well, that's a little bit of a stretch. Obviously, I've, I've started it with beautiful, <laughs> like butte. Yeah. Uh, well, obviously, that's going to be. I think would just guess. Yeah. Yeah, and it just annoys me. Oh, yeah. All right. But yeah, everything's a duck when you don't need it to be. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. What annoys you, Lizzie? What's an unreasonable one? Oh, um, when people don't f- switch off the PowerPoint before pulling something out. Oh. Like when it you there's nothing plugged into the PowerPoint, but the switches are on. Why? No. No. <laughs> That it's off. There's nothing in there. Turn it off. Oh, my OCD. I'll walk around it, I, and no I, matter where I am, I'll turn off pipe. So do I. Turn off pipe. So yeah, do, I guess. I used to do yeah, that's so much. around there yeah. that I used to do all yeah. the time because oh. the cleaner must plug in and pull out the vacuum. What about oh. what about the people? Hello to my lovely wife who's listening. Who oh. have the the texting sound on when they have their phones? Oh. Like, I do that, and I think to myself, I wonder is this annoying anybody? <laughs> you don't need that. <laughs> Never. I quite like that sound. Nah. Oh my gosh! Oh. <laughs> People who stand on the um, the middle of the escalator. Oh, oh yeah. Like seriously. Yeah. Like yeah. use your legs for starters. Yeah. Just walk up it. You, yeah. you, it's yeah. only a short distance. Yeah. Uh, if you yeah. can't, Get that's to, fine. Yeah. But, yeah. Move you know, across. Move across a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That's fine. That's a biggie. About. Space invaders. People who stand too close. Like, oh, oh yes. Back, especially if they're wearing too much perfume. Like use oh. it before. <laughs> Did you just have a bath in Elizabeth Arden Red Door? Please. <laughs> yeah. Back off. Yeah, yeah. Or too many get in the lift. Oh. oh. Clearly there's enough of us in here already. Oh. Vague social posts when people oh. put up something like, you know who you are. You know, oh. Oh, what? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Some people, huh? Yeah. Can't believe this happened to me. <laughs> what? Oh, oh, can't talk about don't it. Don't want to talk about it. <laughs> I'll DM you. Oh, gosh. See, <laughs> we could do another like hour like on this. this. Mate, this is like therapy. Okay. <laughs> I feel like I'm quite normal now. Hello, Vanessa. Good morning, Maddie. Good morning, Gina. How morning. are you going? Tops, mate. What, uh, what is it that does your head in? Look, I, I can't stand the word you. Oh, oh use. Yeah, use. Oh, use. I love you all. Me. Crazy. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Elise in Hamlin Terrace. What's doing your head in these days? People chewing with their mouth open. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> yeah. Drive oh. me insane. You definitely don't want to come have dinner at my joint and sit opposite my kids. <laughs> it is just the, oh. Hi, Trace. I've come to the realisation that I'm a cranky old woman because everything <laughs> everyone said, yes, I hate that, yes, that's <laughs> what about people who walk like three or four uh, 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 across the footpath? Oh, yes. What do you do when you're like, just move a single file, people? Come <laughs> yeah, on. I'm the same. Uh, Trace, let's see your call, mate. Thanks for listening. Uh, but hang on. Oh, you got more. You didn't hear what I said. Oh, I just thought you thought everything annoyed you. <laughs> just everything anybody no, she- does annoys you. <laughs> no, but specifically smokers who just put their butts on the ground and 
walk away. Oh. oh. But they, you know, they scrunch it out on the ground and yeah. then they walk away and you're like, really? Yeah. That and dog poo. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> when the smokers put their dog poo on the ground. <laughs> I saw someone flick a butt out of a dual cab ute the other day, and I was there was a I and I can't even remember. Like I, I am entering my old man era as well because I was like, if I knew what that tosser's number was, I reckon I would have drunk it when I got home. But all I did was I, I came up alongside him and just looked at him and just gave a look of Give disappointment. The, the stink I was just like, oh. <laughs> I'm disappointed. I'm not angry. I'm disappointed. <laughs> Tracy, thanks for your call, mate. You too. Bye. The Gina and Maddie Podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcast.com.au.